Let's talk New York Mets baseball, man. It was a great game last night. The Mets put up 10 runs. That's always fun. They lost the series, but they were able to avoid the sweep. And that's pretty much all that I was hoping for, that we could save a little bit of face and save a little bit of embarrassment and not get swept by the Chicago Cubs. That didn't happen, so I'm happy. Carrasco had his best outing to date. He went 6.2 innings. He had five hits, one earned run. Two walks with four Ks. This is pretty much the best that he's looked so far, and it definitely made a difference. Held the Cubs to one run, lowered his ERA from over eight to a 6.75. So nothing to really complain about there. I'm really happy for him. This is the old Carrasco that we're used to seeing, and hopefully he keeps this going going, going forward, and um, he's able to keep this up, man. We really need it, and he did a phenomenal job. What else could you say about him? Pete Alonzo hit number 19, so, you know, good for him. Kudos for him. Congratulations for him. He's always sending them balls over the wall. Uh, that's just his thing. Glad to see it. Francisco Alvarez had two hits. He continues to rake and do a great job. Over his last five games, he's batting 471 with three home runs and no strikeouts. He just continues to be a beast on both sides of the ball. Nothing to really say about him except for he is the starting catcher and should remain in there the majority of the time. There's nothing else that anyone can say, in my opinion. He is a great catcher. He's a great batter. I mean, he works hard. You hear it throughout the uh, throughout the dugout, excuse me, uh, throughout the locker room that the, the guy is just phenomenal. He has phenomenal work ethic and he it, it shows out there on the field every time that he's out there. When he's not in the game, it just feels completely different. And uh, I just love watching him play and I'm happy for him. And hopefully that continues. Jeff McNeil went three for four. Great night for him. Lindor, he did OK. He had him one hit. Uh, uh, last night, the Mets had 15 hits and 40 at bats with 10 strikeouts. Uh, they were moving pretty good offensively. Uh, they looked really good defensively. They looked really good as well. So good for them. Like I said, still bothered that they lost the, uh, the series, but we didn't get swept and they won in an exciting and electric fashion last night, putting 10 runs on the board. Can't get mad at that. Now, one thing that I wanted to talk about real quick is Vogelback. Can't stand Vogelback. Sick of seeing Vogelback. All he does is stand there and do nothing and try to get a walk. That's all he does. He does absolutely nothing but stand there and try to draw a walk. Maybe that's worked for him in the past, but it's not working anymore. 16 of his 31 strikeouts have been looking. He's in the top 12 or 15 in looking strikeouts. But the cat, the catch is that he's the DH. He only plays half of the time or way less or has way less at bats than the other 10, 11, 12, 13 guys that are ahead of him who the majority of them play full time. He should not be in there anymore. There's no reason why Vientos is sitting on the sidelines, is sitting in the dugout, and we've got uh, Vogel back standing there watching pitches go by him and striking out, standing there looking over and over and over again. It's like he doesn't care about anything else that's going on in the game except for himself trying to draw the walk. Doesn't matter if we got a runner in scoring position. Doesn't matter if we need a hit, if we need a sacrifice fly, if we need to drive in a run. He's not going to swing. He's just going to stand there and look around and wait and see what happens. Don't know what's going on here. Maybe Buck is giving him a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a uh, rope or a little bit of time to to throw himself out there so that, you know, he gathers up enough evidence just to bring him in and tell him, hey, we got to sit you down for a little while. Whatever the case is, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know what they're going to do. Hopefully they sit his behind down, send him somewhere else. Let him go work on it. Let him learn how to be a designated hitter like he's supposed to be. It's just getting on my nerves. Maybe I'm maybe I'm out of whack. Maybe maybe you guys don't agree. I don't know. Let me know. But I, I'm done with I'm done with Vogelback. All he does is stand there. I'm done with it. Other than Vogelback, it was a great game offensively um, and defensively, for that matter. I enjoyed it. The Mets are now 26 and 25. They're five and a half games behind Atlanta. They move on to Colorado tonight at 8:40 Eastern Standard Time for a three-game dance uh, before they head back home to host the Phillies. Uh, hopefully, this series goes well. I'd like to see them continue to stay on the path that they're on. I think out of the last what is it? Five, what, eight games? They won six of them. So not too bad. Lost this series, but they're doing OK. They've turned the page, if you ask me. Uh, Mets have made some moves at catcher. Tomas Nito, if you watched the game last night, he's back in the lineup. And Gary Sanchez has been DFA'd, which is fine with me. I don't think he was a good fit at all. Hopefully we don't see him back. He does not hold a candle to Alvarez on either side of the ball. So doesn't bother me one bit that he's not going to be there anymore. Hopefully he 
whatever they release him i don't i don't care it doesn't make any difference to me wasn't that great of a catcher over there i think he was in new york or whatnot and didn't really show and prove anything when he was over here with us so no sweat off of my back that's pretty much it hopefully the Mets stay on the right track like i said we're at least five above 500 again and uh I'd like for us to stay that way, get caught up to these Braves. We'll be seeing them again soon here in the uh, future. So I'll be happy to see how that goes. goes. We do have a makeup game with them, and um, that'll finish off that last series from those multiple rainouts. Uh, that's about it, man. If you're still here, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's go Mets.